you know, I grew up as a child visiting Granite Island. I remember when there were penguins on the mainland uh, that, uh, that we used to go and look at. I do not want my children growing up without an opportunity knowing of, you know, being able to see penguins in the wild on their doorstep on the Flurio Peninsula. Um, and for me, you know, that's a personal commitment. I'm Tony Flarty, I'm the manager of Coast and Marine Programs at the Adelaide and Mount Lofty Ranges Natural Resources Management Board. Within our region, uh, around Go uh, the Flurio Peninsula and in Gulf St Vincent, we've seen some pretty drastic declines in the number of penguins at Granite Island and also uh, just off the bluff there at West Island. And that has really triggered us to get together the information that we need to get some better management of the penguins there. One of the things that's important to know is what's killing little penguins and to get a handle on that you need to be looking at penguin carcasses and we've got a pathologist involved uh, working with the South Australian Museum who's looking at those uh, the dead penguins and trying to work out what the cause of death was. Uh, there's also a whole range of issues that we may we don't know and is there an underlying wildlife health problem? Uh, are things like parasites an issue and is that somehow affecting uh, the survival of little penguins in the wild? So we're developing what we're calling a mortality register to track causes of death and that will give us the ability to focus on key threats as well. There's this issue of what uh, impacts fur seals are having on little penguins, but until we can actually work out uh, the role of fur seals in penguin decline, we need to know is it individual fur seals at colonies or is it a behaviour that's been learnt across a whole number of seals and that will help us um, gauge what sort of impact they're having. But, Outside of the fur seal issue, there are a whole range of things we can be managing on land that relate to land-based predators, you know, rats, cats, foxes and uh, dogs. Uh, there's the management of people visiting penguin colonies and how they behave. There's issues like traffic management around penguin colonies on Kangaroo Island. So those sorts of things that what we're probably seeing, um, the declines could be related to that sort of incremental death by a thousand cuts and we can manage some of those things. It could be um, that the penguins are moving elsewhere. Um, that's something we don't know uh, and that's something again that we'd hope to be looking at in the future. The situation at Granite Island and Kangaroo Island is that we're seeing some uh, declines in the number of penguin numbers at uh, colonies across the region. At Granite Island, since about 2000, the population number has declined from about 1600 down to 150, so that's a fairly serious decline in 10 years. Similarly, at Kangaroo Island, there are a couple of uh, colonies that have declined. However, there are also some colonies uh, where we don't have sufficient information to know whether the population trend is declining or if it's stable. So we probably need to do a bit more work on, in some of the colonies in the region. There's a report that's been written on little penguins in the region which compiles current information and knowledge of little penguins uh, across this region, what we know and also the gaps, what we need to know. Uh, it also um, reviews the current status of little penguins in the region, the conservation status, and it also investigates some of the threats that are facing little penguin colonies and some of the management um, priorities that we need to consider to address some of these threats. Uh, 
the NRM boards will be doing is working with the community to make them much more aware of how they can be responsible uh, when it comes to penguins and that's uh, things like uh, workshops for dog owners uh, about responsible dog management also looking at how people can control cats better uh, and responsible cat ownership but there's uh, getting a handle on things like the impacts that introduced rats are having in the colonies um, so we're looking at putting uh, infrared motion sensor cameras that are arranged in the burrows and seeing what both the movements of the penguins are but what things are interacting with the penguins and the chicks and eggs oh, at those sites. We have a few schools around Victor Harbour who are willing and keen to make some nest boxes for little penguins and these will go in at Granite Island. We may also get some being made through schools at Kangaroo Island as well. And we've also got a lot of volunteers who are keen to help put plants in the ground uh, that will help penguin nesting habitat. If nothing is done about little penguins in the region, some of the colonies are at risk of completely disappearing, such as the one here at Granite Island. We can try and improve penguin habitat. We can try and educate people to care for their environment and care for their penguins. And at the same time, we can try and find out more about the threats so that we can try and do something about those in the future. We're not necessarily going to be able to do something about every single threat, but hopefully some actions, particularly on the land, can help offset some of the negative things that might be happening from other threats. If nothing is done, it's, we actually don't know what will happen. And I think that's the big, that's the big issue. If we do something, we know that at least we can stop some of the impacts of little penguins. And if we stop some of those impacts, then in the longer term, that should help recovery of those penguin uh, populations. What's the other show?